Listen, first, though, a big change at the top when it comes to educating Arizona. Voters making their voices heard just last week. It is now official. There will be a change in leadership. Diane Douglas will no longer be at the helm. Our John Treeweller is live this morning with what happens now and who is taking over. Yeah, good morning, guys. Well, after four years of Diane Douglas in charge, the state will officially head a new direction come this November. This all after Republican voters speaking out and showing their support at the polls and ousting Douglas. Now, these are the final numbers out this morning. Douglas finished a close third in the primary election behind Frank Ribs and Bob Branch. Just 359 votes between Riggs and Branch, a, a very close race. Douglas ran for office four years ago, focused on replacing the unpopular Common Core curriculum. But there was controversy almost from the start. She faced a recall effort. The president of the state school board resigned in protest. She clashed with Governor Ducey over a number of issues. So after one year, GOP voters said they have had enough. This November, two very school choices for the voters. You have Democrat Kathy Hoffman, who has taught in Arizona K-8 through and is a Rev. Fred supporter. She'll face Republican Congressman or former Republican Congress Congressman Frank Riggs. He's now a charter schools executive, touting his leadership on school choice and local control. Speaking of Red Fred, yesterday, Dan, was National Red Fred Day. A lot of teachers and educators out in support of their voice and their mission. They'll be out again today with some grassroots, grassroots efforts. We'll break down exactly what they have planned and what they'll be doing. We'll see you back out here in just a little bit.